What's up guys? Welcome to the skill cape perk video. So in this video we're going to be talking about every single skill cape perk, what they do, and uh, give a little more information on why they'd be useful and whatnot. So we are on the test server, uh, that's why you don't see anybody here. We have all of the capes in the inventory, let's go check them out. We're going to start off with uh, pretty much just when they were created. Attack to invention, health to hunter, and then mining to farming. So the perk for the attack cape is pretty simple. When you are killing Cyclopses, you'll have uh, double the chance of getting a Dragon Defender. So uh, the Dragon Defender is on the drop table for the Cyclopses. And when this is worn, you'll have a uh, separate chance of getting it. Uh, ooh, I have a spell selected. Is that still... How did, how did I manage that? That's... One of the issues related with Dual Arena, if you're wondering why that's not disabled. So let me uh, show you what that looks like. Okay, so we just got it. Your cape helps you find a Dragon Defender, and it goes straight into your inventory. If you don't have space, it should be on the floor. Um, that's pretty simple. Okay, so the Bandos one is a little more in-depth. Basically, it provides a damage boost against Bandos and his minions. For those that didn't know, it does include the minions. So this might be a little hard to get sort of accurate numbers on... Um, if the cape is better than the Infernal Max Cape. I haven't done extensive testing in-game. Um, I do plan to. Maybe that's worth a worth it video. Let's just kind of get like a rough uh, view right here. So let's see what our max hit with the uh, Elder Maul and almost uh, max melee gear, 65. So uh, I'll just uh, hit it for a little while and see what my best hit is with the cape. And uh, I'll try to stay potted and I'll try to keep prayer up and everything. So I did about 10 or so just in limited testing. And it seems like the strength uh, cape perk is not worth it over a max cape. But from personal experience, if you have the strength master cape, the one that uh, requires 500 mil uh, strength experience, and you you don't have an infernal cape, I would definitely use that over this. But uh, in this gear right here, it seemed like the infernal cape was hitting much higher. So all in all, the perk is probably meant for lower tier players. If you have the high end gear with infernal cape, it might not be the best for you. Okay, so the defense cape basically functions as a ring of life. If you are low health and uh, you're in threat of danger, it'll teleport you home. Um, so the perk is a little, uh, really the mechanics are just a little wonky. It's kind of hard to use. And uh, realistically, I don't know how useful it would be for a normal player. I suppose whenever a hardcore Iron Man mode comes out, it'll probably f serve much more function there. But let me give you a uh, run of how it looks. Hopefully I don't one-shot this. That's what I thought was going to happen. Let me do a rock crab. Rock crab, I shouldn't be able to one shot. So, if we smack, boom, boom. Okay, teleport you out in the next time. Teleport you to Edgeville. Don't click these, they might smack you. Ha -pa. Oh, didn't save me then, right? <laughs> so, the ranging cape is pretty simple. Functions as an Ava's if you have it on and you throw some. Uh, whatever's you'll save I believe it's a one in six chance I don't actually remember the chance of Ava saving it but uh, as you can see we killed that whole thing without losing a single one and if we take this off obviously we will use the darts okay so the prayer one is pretty simple uh, you basically get more prayer experience so you saw we got 765 and then with this on we should get 918 I don't remember the exact increase but you can see it's, it's somewhat substantial it's worth having so it's definitely worth it if you're going for 500 mil prayer experience. Uh, I've been trying to think of maybe a secondary purse, a perk, something that you can use whenever, just because if you hit 500 mil prayer experience, you don't need it anymore. So if you have any ideas, let me know. Okay, so the magic perk basically uh, changes your spellbook. So if you click spellbook, you can change it to, let's go lunar. Now we are at lunar. Let's try changing it back to normal. Boom. This can be done anywhere except for the wilderness. Okay, so the runecrafting perk gives you double runes. So let's uh, do it. We should get 40. Is that right? Is that right? I believe that's right. Hopefully that's right. Otherwise I'm going to look like a fool. Let's get another 20. And now with the cape on, we should get 80. Yes. Yes. Our numbers are adding up. Right, right, right. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so for the invention perk, basically you, whenever you're making amethyst arrows, bolts, and or garden pies, you have a 25% reduction in the cost of components. Uh, so if we take the cape off and we make one batch of bolts, you can see it took 100k 
or it took 100k components. Put the gate back on, do it one more time, boom, only took 75k components. So this will definitely help for those uh, long grinds of making a bunch of bolts or making a bunch of pies. It's definitely going to add up over time. So the HP perk, uh, basically whenever you eat food, it now heals two more than it used to. So if we uh, get our health lower, let's take it off. Uh, so a shark heals 20, so we should get to 79. Boom, 79. Now let's do that again. Go oh, back to 59. Oh, nope, went way too many. Basically, it's going to heal. <laughs> it's good. It's good. And we, we gained the health, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to heal 62. Boom, we saw the plus two. Take the cape off. That's only going to get us to 82. Perk. Awesome. In fact, in my opinion, this is one of the better ones, especially if you uh, uh, don't have an infernal cape and you plan it like boss. So next up, this one is pretty simple. Agility. Basically, whenever you are doing uh, the course and you have the cape on, you will you'll have a chance of receiving um, double your marks of grace. So let me do run. Hopefully, it'll trigger. Uh, the odds of getting marks of grace are pretty pretty frequent, so hopefully, we'll get one in one trip. And then with the cape, it should be doubled. No, we're just never gonna. We're just, it's not happening. I thought for sure it would happen. Sad panda. Okay, so there it is. Boom. There we it's see right here. Very hot. Okay, so the Herblore Cape helps you collect muddy rocks. We collect one, you can see you get one per, and if you sort of spam click it is on time delay, so it, it's not it's not very fast. It's kind of annoying with the cape on. Boom. You get five extra ones, so you can fill up your inventory a lot quicker. And if you're wondering what muddy rocks are used for, they're used to make aggression pots, and aggression pots are used to make overloads, and overloads are used to make sinister keys, so muddy rocks are definitely uh, an important item. Okay, so the thieving cape is pretty simple. Uh, whenever you are stealing from a stall, you have a chance of getting a crystal key. So let me spam click and I'll show you what that... Oh, that... Oh, we got it! Yay! <laughs> finally, finally we won. one happens right away. So your case, uh, cape helps you snatch a key. And um, I think the chance is pretty common. I haven't tested it out a whole lot. Um, again, this could be one of those things where it might be worth it to do a worth it video on it. Haha! -ha. So the crafting cape is potentially one of the better capes for this very simple feature. If we do, uh, let's just spawn some random numbers, 988, oh. So we have ourselves a bunch of tooth halves, a bunch of loop halves. It's going to take a long time to combine these. Boom. Cape. Activate. Boom. Combines all of your half keys in your toy. Very simple, but very useful on the server. So the fletching perk is really sort of lackluster. Uh, basically, whenever you're cutting redwoods, you have a increased chance of getting a redwood shortbow. So theoretically, this could be some decent money, or if you're a um, newer player and you're trying to get a redwood shortbow, um, and you're just struggling to get it, but you're 99 fletching, this could help you get that. Um, it's really one of those benefits that's very limited. And, if, and again, if anybody has something that they feel could be added on or changed, holla at your boy. But uh, let me just... Uh, oh, there it is. Your cape helps you craft a puff shortbow. So, noise. That wasn't that bad. And that is, I believe... It's a binding fluid. That's a weird exam option. I should fix that. Uh, I don't know why I was thinking. I was like, oh, it's funny. I could like check the value of it. But uh, boom. 10 mil cash. Easy peasy. So the Slayer Cape perk is pretty simple as well. Whenever you finish a Slayer task, you will receive a Jumbo task. And the Jumbo task gives you 99 of... Uh, tasks are sort of different from hard tasks. Uh, you can get things like Adventurers, Abyssal Demons... I believe bandits are on that uh, task list as well. A couple other things, um, neck rails and whatnot. Uh, sort of the monsters that you probably would want to grind anyways. And um, you get 99 of them, and whenever you finish that task, you get a nice little bonus. So I'm going to show what that looks like. There's a small thing that was from the update. Uh, all uh, superior creatures give uh, pug points now, so that's fun. All right, so we kill one more. Should finish the Slayer task. And should be a jumbo task right underneath this. Boom, jumbo task. We actually also got a special task. That is completely unrelated. The jumbo task is what you're looking for. Uh, it gives you accept option. And boom, 99 adventurers. 
That is perfect. The uh, rather, the hunter boss just spawned. Let's go to it. So the hunter skill cape perk. Uh, whenever you have a sturdy spear and you throw it normally without the cape on, it does 40 damage and you receive a random amount of scraps as well as some hunter experience. Um, there is also an item called the golden spear, which most people know this. Uh, I do have a, a hunter skill boss guide out on the on the um, on my YouTube channel, so go check that out if you want more information. But uh, if you have the cape on, whenever you throw a sturdy spear, it automatically turns into a golden spear. So you can see it does the extra damage and provides uh, extra scraps as well as extra hunter experience. So uh, essentially just turns all of your spears into golden spears. A very nice perk for doing this boss. Okay, so the next perks I'm going to talk about are all very similar. The gathering skills such as mining, fishing, and woodcutting all have the exact same perk. Basically, whenever you're doing the respective skill, you'll have a chance of collecting a dark stone. Uh, so the chance of this is actually pretty high, so I'm not going to like just sit here and try to get one on camera. But uh, let me try doing a little spam clicking. Uh, uh, spam click, spam click, spam click strong. Get the, get the stone, get the stone alive. Uh, in case you were wondering, fishing is... Uh, actually does have a different rate because it is considerably faster with this method. Uh, but uh, yeah, I I believe the chance is roughly 1 in 4,000 or so. It happens more than you... Well, you've, you've seen how much it happens if you've been familiar with in-game. But uh, yeah, all three have the exact same perk. Um, and uh, the, the uh, Darkstone, if you're wondering what it's used for, is used for the best melee gloves. Um, and again, with the, when the Darkstone was originally created, there was intentions to add more items. And that's still being talked about, so... Um, do know that's not just limited to those gloves. We have we have plans for the future. So the sk uh, smithing skill cape okay, perk. Basically, whenever you're smithing an item, you have a I believe it's one in five chance of creating an extra item. So let me make some. Let's just go with swords. Boom! Right off the back, we just made another one. So you do not get extra experience for it. At least I don't think you do. You just get the extra item. This is probably more geared towards Iron Men or lower level players who are trying to either make money or if you're for example if you're making like rune bolts and stuff like that this would definitely be one of the uh the better ways to use this perk so the cooking perk if we can spawn ourselves some food uh basically you cook food twice as fast and if you didn't know you could actually go it through through it through the wall here this is allowed have at it uh we should cook two at a time boom you do get the experience for it so it's just twice as fast cooking experience uh, technically, it's less AFK, so it's really a matter of do you want faster experience or do you want uh, more AFK enjoyable experience. Also, if you were actually going to go for the cooking pet, you'd probably not want to have the cape on. Because when you do the actions, it only considers it 14 actions rather than 28 actions. So you're not rolling the pet chance 28 times, you're rolling it 14 times. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Okay, so the fire making perk is pretty nice whenever you're doing bonfires at Fossil. If you have a cape on, you get double the Numulite. So normally, if you don't have the cape on, you would get 200 Numulite. And if you have the cape on, you will get 400. So you can see you get the double. Uh, depending on when you're watching this, this perk might not be functional. It's actually broken in the live game. Um, it will be coded this Friday, um, and I'm uploading this on a Tuesday. So theoretically, when you first watch this, this perk might not be working. All right, so the farming perk, the last one we have. Uh, basically, whenever you are... Uh, hmm. Huh. Is it because I already have something planted? I guess so. Let me. <laughs> I was wondering why that spanned an error. That confused the hell of me. I'll check that out. Anyways, if you plant a uh, seed and harvest. You will have a chance. Did, did I do something? Did I do it too quick? Oh, I didn't do it at all. Never mind. Boom. You are getting a big old yield. Um, I don't remember if it was supposed to be a chance or if it was supposed to be guaranteed, but as you can see, it's pretty. Uh, you, you gain herbs much quicker. And it has a secondary perk where you can note your herbs. It actually doesn't function from that option, which makes it less useful. Uh, I'll probably fix that. But uh, if you activate it on the side, no herbs, boom. Simple as that, so. Uh, that is all of the perks. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, so I've talked about the Max Cape perk for a while. We've been sort of thinking about what we wanted to do. And ultimately, I decided that I'm not going to have a perk for the Max Cape. I feel like the Max Cape's perk should be the Max Guild. 
I think that, that that should be the perk. It already has perks in the sense that you can teleport from 30. It has teleports. I feel like the um, the key to it is really just improving the max guild. So in this update, I'm going to look at into that and uh, make some improvements there. But uh, if you have any other suggestions, any other feedback you want to say, if you really don't